It's me, sis. Uh, there she is. Sailing into Liverpool Bay right on time. Aye, and look how low she is in the water. They say she's carrying jewels for King George and Queen Charlotte. The storm is going to be the death of us if we don't get to the Liverpool Bay soon. Can you keep the punters busy tonight? The fewer people wandering around that cliff path, the better. There's a mother and father of a storm out there. They're all in church, Father. Hey, Amos, time to head for the Sandhills. Get that beacon sheltered from the wind, or we'll never keep it alight. It'll be nothing short of a miracle if they can see it from the ship. Light on starboard side, Captain. Ship aground! Ship aground! In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost, I call every one of you to account. May God guide us in the task which lays ahead us in this dreadful storm. Wait! Not a soul amongst you make a move until I have changed out of my vestments. Look over there! Mock Beggar Shore! Something's moving! Ha! 
Help! Help! Aurora! Aurora! Help! Help! We'll be perishing! There's Rich Pickens here and no mistake. Quick! That barrel's flowing away! Our saviors, the Lord bless you brave souls. Can you see any survivors? No, Pa. But I can see a group of men riding down the shore from the direction of Liso Castle. Damn customs men! I'll come ashore, son. Run like the clappers and warn everyone and then report to Polly. Customs are coming. Get those horses and carts out of here. Tell Alf it's no night for showing mercy. Remember! Dead men tell no tales. Alf's called a halt. Customs men are already galloping down the beach. He reckons there's an informer. Well, fortune has been with us this night. We only had to deal with two crew members. The rest must have perished in the wreck. Well, it saved us having to drown them. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, not a bad all for one night's reckon. There's brandy, backy, silver, jewels and bales of material. And remember, all of you, we must not touch any of these goods for at least a year. Did you best tell you about the pigs that all managed us from ashore from the wreck? <laughs> we'll be dining on ham and pork chops for a while. <laughs> <laughs> so... Searches have begun. May they be gravely disappointed. <laughs> well, the Red Caps Inn is the only house on the river between Seacombe Ferry and Rock Point, so they're bound to search here. Aye. Cashin's on lookout at that willow tree, so when we hear his whistle, we'll know they're close by. But if they find our tunnels, we'll all swing from the gallows. Well, the Red Caps no ordinary inn, lad. That door's five inches of solid oak and booby-trapped. So if the door's forced, pulleys open the trap door so when they step inside, oh, there's no floor. And they go pumpy dump nine feet down into the cellar. <laughs> and they can search all they like. They'll find nothing. <laughs> but what about the informer? Oh, Mary Bood. She's not long for this world. Who else would be an informer, eh? Not the judge. He wants his bucky. Parson likes his brandy. And certainly not Lady Muck the Draper's wife. She wants her cotton. <laughs> All of them want their goods. But none of them wants to pay King George's high taxes now, do they? Aye, a toast to the Wallasey Wreckers. Best wreckers in England. <laughs>